On base percentage in baseball is a measure of a player's ability to get on base. So let's look at the equation. OBP equals the number of hits plus the number of walks plus the number of times a batter is hit by a pitch. Now all these values in the numerator are the number of times a batter reaches base because of their skill or effort. Okay. In the denominator, we have a larger number, and that's the number of plate appearances, minus, and these are two variables that are not included, when a player gets on base um, after striking out, and then the ball is dropped, or there's a pass ball, and they reach first base, or when they reach first base because of catcher interference or some other form of defensive interference. So in the denominator, the rest of the plate appearances can be summed up with all the at-bats, so all ABs, plus each time a batter walks, plus each time they're hit by a pitch, and when they hit into a sacrifice fly. Okay. Let's just do a quick note here. Remember that at-bats include, include all hits, outs, each time a batter hits into a fielder's choice, and each time a batter reaches base on air. Okay. So let's look at an example of how to calculate on base percentage. Let's look at Mike Trout of the Los Angeles Angels. He's a rookie who's having an outstanding year in 2012. Today is August 8th, so we'll look at his stats to date. So his number of hits to this point is 124. Number of walks is 37. Number of times he's been hit by a pitch is 5. His number of total at-bats is 358. Number of sacrifice flies is 6. All this information is coming off of Fangraphs, the site Fangraphs.com, and you can do a customized search, and I've searched specifically for these variables to calculate on-base percentage. So, when we write out our equation, it's just a matter of plugging in these variables. So our hits, 124, plus our walks, 37, plus the number of times a batter's been hit by a pitch, which is 5, all divided by number of at-bats, which is 358, plus 37, plus 5, plus our sacrifice flies, which is 6. So I'll give you a second here to add up all the numbers on the numerator and all the numbers on the denominator. So 124 plus 37 plus 5. And I'm going to quickly do this. 179. Actually, let me just double check that. 124 plus 37 plus 5 is actually 166. Sorry, I'm using a calculator. All divided by three hundred and fifty eight plus thirty seven plus five plus six is four hundred and six. So one hundred and sixty six divided by four hundred and six, and we round that to three decimal places, what we get is zero point four oh nine. So we can say that in two thousand twelve Mike Trout has a four oh nine on base percentage. Now I'd like to just draw a quick diagram just to represent so if we drew a circle here this would be, this circle would contain everything in the denominator. If we drew another circle, smaller one here, this would be everything in the numerator. So, if we color in these values, we see that the numerator can never be larger than the denominator. So OBP always has to have a value less than 1. So I'll write that in. OBP, this is a side note, must always be less than or equal to 1. The only time it would equal 1 <coughs> is if every time the player got at bat, they either got a hit, they got a walk, 
or they were hit by a pitch.